Today is going to be insanely awesome. There comes my dad. This might be right up there with 2000 OU Nebraska as far yeah. as like atmosphere, it magic. Be. It's it gonna feel be. magical. I've it's already seen be. tweets where people were saying like the the, uh, the atmosphere and everything is just crazy today. Yeah. <sighs> What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Dylan. I'm joined here by my dad Wally. We are leaving Anadarko, Oklahoma right now at two o'clock p.m. on Saturday, September 17th, 2016. And we are headed up to Norman, Oklahoma to watch our beloved Oklahoma Sooners host the Ohio State Buckeyes. I think Ohio State's ranked number three in the nation, somewhere right right around there where we were before we got, you know, before we laid an egg opening uh, game. But um, huge game. It doesn't get any bigger, doesn't get any better. Um, OU can still make this college football playoff if we run the table and go undefeated. Don't know how likely that is to happen. Ohio State is a very talented team. Um, it's going to be a very tough. Uh, it's going to be a very tough game. It's going to be hard to get this win today. We're going to have to earn it. We're going to play mistake-free football, and um, hopefully Bob Stoops can come up big and get the Sooners a win. But um, I'm telling you, Ohio State is tough. Didn't you say? Didn't you say Coach Switzer called you Juve? Yeah, he never. Uh, when I got drafted, when I got drafted by the Dolphins, they asked me how I like Coach Shula, and then I like him a lot because he uh, he pronounced my name right the first time he met me. I go all the four years at OU, Coach Switzer never did pronounce my name Switzer. right. Switzer. <laughs> <laughs> he did it on purpose. Yeah. All right. Now I want to know for like a decade. We're going to yes. different this year on the franchise freaking tailgate show. All right. Me and Dad are on H.E. Bailey, I-44, headed up to Norman. We're going to take Norman Spire over, but um, listening to uh, 107.7, the franchise, they just got through talking to Uwe von Schalman, a uh, kicker from Germany that earned a scholarship at OU. In 1977, he kicked a game-winning field goal uh, to give the Sooners the victory over Ohio State at Columbus, Ohio. So uh, there's a lot of Ohio State fans, I'm sure, that remember that kick. I thought it would be, uh, before I even heard, you know, Von Schaumann on the radio or anything, I thought it would be cool for them to do something to recognize him or something to just kind of rub it in them Buckeye faces, you know, but who knows if they will or not, but he is a popular guy today because uh, 1977, good old kicker was the hero. Regardless, win or lose, it's still going to be a freaking magical game, I guarantee yeah. it. Unless we just get blown out, yeah. that's going to suck. Well, we are just getting into Norman. Um, so far, the traffic's not too incredibly bad. We just got to the Lloyd Noble, and um, it's really weird. All the parking's like blocked off and flagged off everywhere from where we can usually park. I don't know what the deal is, but looks like it's gonna be quite the chore to get a parking spot. But well, we just got here to the Lloyd Noble. We got a parking spot. We got one because it's a very tight parking spot. But yours truly is a pretty good backer. Homeboy here, he was staring at these people's beer over here. And uh, and, th and they gave him, they said, hey, you want this? So he said, heck yeah, I want it. So he's already, he's already getting ready for the game. We are walking to the, um, the shuttles. They have some buses that, it, it's about a mile. Uh, from the Lloyd Noble to the football stadium. We could walk it, but um, we're here early enough. I think we'll be able to find a pretty short line in the shuttle line. So we are going to, uh, we're going to the shuttle. Well, we just got off the tram. Now we're uh, headed towards the stadium. May go uh, check out and see if we can find my buddy, Joe C. He's at a tailgate. And uh, we just gotta have a little bit of a good time before we go into the no, stadium. A lot, of, a lot of good time. A lot of good time. Kickoff is until 6.30. It's 3.30 right now. So who knows what we'll get into. Three hours to get my drink on, even though I don't drink anymore, but you know, I act like it.
What's the score? What's the score gonna be? Oh God, I haven't thought. Uh, Putting uh, him on the spot here. There you go. All right. Well, so we've got OU 31, Ohio State 28. You heard it here first. Put it in the books. From Josie, put, put it, it in the books. Yeah, put it in the well, we spent a good half hour chatting up my buddy Joseph, and um, we're just kind of walking around and um, just kind of taking in the atmosphere. We're gonna hang out. Still two hours till kickoff. It's only 4:30, but we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Also, we're kind of hoping that the uh, storms stay away. Yeah, it's like clouding up and everything, but we think it's gonna miss us, we hope. Looks like that kind of stuff's back. Remember that used to be? It's about 10 till 5. Check out this line to get in our gate. So we're sitting here in line waiting, and the uh, wind's really picked up. It's getting crazy. Ohio State! Woo! Boomer Sooner, oh you! Gotta get us something to eat. We're here awfully early. Oh yeah, no, no, you don't want your card number on there. So we're in line now, about to get us a bite to eat, then we're gonna go up to our uh, to our uh, to our seats. Well, the rain's starting to come down. We just got in the stadium, so we're gonna put these plants in. what we were thinking we're the only ones basically in the stadium besides the students who get in here because it's first come first serve seating but it's starting to pour well we went up to our seats and started getting rained on immediately right when we got there so we decided to get under the tunnel so it wouldn't get rained on for a little bit guess when it starts raining when it stops raining we'll go back up there Well, we've been here under the stadium for about 20 minutes now, and um, I've been checking my Facebook, and there's people back home saying that the game is postponed till 8, 10 p.m. So, it may be under here a while. We just live about 45 minutes southwest of here, and people are saying that it's sunshine there. It's already passed through, so it shouldn't be too much longer before this little system passes through. All right, we stood in the tunnel for about 20 minutes. Went back and used the restrooms. We're trying this again. Good to go. Oh, look at it, baby. It's sunshine. Oh, you home. Check it out, folks. For once, we were thinking ahead. We got some paper towels in the bathroom to wipe our seats off with. The hospitable people at Oklahoma Memorial Stadium. Showing two college football games at once on the new huge Jumbotron. Fixing to come out. Yeah, something crazy is going on. There's like a guy with a sign over here, and it's been like a 30 minute debate. What? What do they want him to do? like the Charlie Daniel song and took four of them. What did he do? What did he do? What did he do? What did he do? Oh, 
Raiders now. They only got two losses in a disappointing season. They got beat by a better team. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I uh, I was dead wrong on this game. I, I thought so was that... I. Uh, I really thought that OU would come to play, and early it looked like they did, but... Why does Joe Mixon only carry three times in the first half? Only got his hands on it three times. Yeah, there is no doubt about that. Oh, man, oh, man. OU just got spanked 45-24 to by the Ohio State University. I don't know if Ohio State was just that good, or OU is just that bad, or a combination of the two. But, um... OU is now one and two on the season. It's not really the uh, start that we were really expecting, but at the end of the day, it's still Boomer Sooner. Vlog number 59. Over. Dang, we suck today.